Hey guys. Somebody's trying to kill me. I was uh, on track tonight to finish work and be done early enough to get to bed early so I could get up on time tomorrow and do a good strong full day of delivery driving because the past couple of days have not been that great um, and I was not expecting anything in the mail but I always stop at the post office on my way to work and um, I found a key in my post office box to a locker which is where they put packages that don't fit in your box and in the locker I found this giant box this is a large flat rate box I didn't even know who had sent it at first until I finally found the name and it came from Brian Zebart. Brian Zebart is trying to kill me because now I have to open this box and make this video and I'm probably not going to finish work early and I'm probably not going to get to bed early and I'm probably not going to get up on time to put in a good full strong day of work tomorrow. Um, I had actually received a message from Brian let me talk while I start to open this. I'm going to open this with scissors. I actually received a message from Brian that he had some things to send me that fit in line with something that I'm starting to collect. And he said there was a lot, but I didn't think it was going to be this much. I, I don't think that all of this is going to be what we talked about. If it is, that's insane. Um, I'm actually using the knife instead of the scissors. But let's see what we find in here. Um, if, uh, this is crazy. This is a giant package. Sometimes I get a little uncomfortable with giant packages like this. Okay, we're going to slide this off and open it up. And as I open it up, I'll pull the things out and we'll see what's in there. Uh, sometimes I get a little uncomfortable with really big packages. Oh, it's taped on the inside too. Uh, because I don't know how to reciprocate. Uh, I don't have a ton of stuff or knowledge about things to send something appropriate back. Okay, so there's a letter and some bubble envelopes. It's kind of a heavy box, kind of medium heavy. Heavy, but not specifically heavy for the size. Uh, okay, it says, Hello Robert, I am enclosing a whole bunch of baseball card packs that have stickers on them from various stores and even some that just, even some that have just regular sales stickers. So that probably means uh, like a price tag, but it doesn't say the store name. That's the thing that we talked about that I'm actually have an interest in price tag stickers with store names from original stores. Um, as I mentioned in my email, I started to put these aside after watching one of John Jab's uh, That's the Past is Alive. For you guys that might not know all of the different channels out there, that's actually Eric's brother. Um, after watching one of John Jab's videos in which he spoke about old store chains. When our, um, I'm not reading now, I'm just speaking now. Mm, why don't I finish reading, then I'll speak. <laughs> I hope you can use them in your collection. I was glad when you mentioned about the packs with stickers in one of your videos. Now they have a good home with you. I am also enclosing some unopened packs that if you choose, you can add into your Minute Rips Packs box. I enjoy those videos, usually during my lunchtime. Please keep up the videos. It is nice that you are giving away cards of people's favorite teams now. It gives people another reason to stop on by. This is a great collecting community that we are part of and hope 2021 will be a great year. 
Well, I definitely also hope that we can get some improvements going over 2020. A um, little bit worried about how it's starting off, but uh, let's find out how things go. Uh, when I say that I'm worried about how it's starting off, uh, let me just inject a little bit of sadness here. I just recently found out that one of the regulars in our section, in the outfield at the Coliseum, uh, passed away already this year, suddenly and unexpectedly. So let me slide this back and you guys can get a glimpse in here. I already see something I really like. Okay, so this is a huge box with a bunch of cards in it. You know what, I can actually pick up the camera and take a look. Look at that. So the first thing I see is um, Kmart. Right there. Uh, so that's what I was going to talk about when I stopped in the middle of that letter. Uh, I actually tried to buy some rolls of Kmart stickers when the Kmarts around me were closing uh, and they wouldn't sell them to me. I was really tempted to sneak some out, but that wouldn't really be honest. So that's a rack pack with a Kmart sticker with some handwritten notes. It's going to be interesting to see if I can decipher some of the information that's um, included in what they put on the stickers. Oh, that, so that one was um, 91 Fleer, and we have a 90 Bowman with a, it's, it's a it's, okay, I'm going to move the box back off camera so that I have more space to feature the, the actual packs. Okay, so here's a rack pack of 90 Bowman with a, it looks like a YDC sticker. I'm going to have to look that up and see what store that is. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, we have 91 tops with a grocery sticker on it. That's pretty cool. Um, a lot of grocery stores actually would differentiate grocery products, which would be non-taxable food products, separate from other products. And that way, when you punch up grocery... Oh, you know why this is probably classified as grocery? Anybody want to guess why they would get away with calling this a food item and not a stationery or a toy. I'm going to say it's because the gum is in there. So they would call that and they wouldn't have to charge sales tax on that because it's considered food. At least that's what would happen in California. And then the store would hit the grocery button and it would not tax you for that product as opposed to hitting one of the other buttons that would tell the computer to charge you sales tax. Okay, next one we have is a big long rack pack. Score 1990. This is so cool. And I don't see a store name in there. But that's so that's one of the price tags without a store name. So that's pretty cool. You guys saw the video I just posted where I got that uh, numbering machine, right? Think about all the wheels and dials. There must be in one of these price guns to have four different spots where you can set what the stamper is going to stamp. That's pretty crazy. Pretty complicated little machine there. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Here's another 91 Fleer with the Kmart sticker. That's pretty cool. And so that sticker actually is a uh, different sticker. Two different Kmart stickers. Not sure if they came from two different stores or if they were just using two different price guns at the time. I'm going to guess probably even, you know, at some point they were in two different stores. And here's a 91 Fleer. I'm going to have to use a magnifying glass to read that. 
So that might be a store name or might that might be the brand of the labeling machine. Uh, so this was actually printed, it looks like printed on a computer rather than a handheld um, price gun. So I'm going to say that's probably the name of the store. I'll have to try to figure out what company that is. 91 Fleer again. Now, uh, I'm not going to be opening these packs up. I'm collecting these as packs with the stickers on them. Oh, wow. Okay, this one is a throwback. Woolworth. I forgot about Woolworth. 1989. I have an interesting story about going to Woolworth on my 12th, well, after my 12th birthday. Uh, here we have 1990 Don Russ with Rick's. That might be um, Rick's Sporting Goods. Have to look up and see if I can figure out what uh, what some of these stores are. Wow, there are so many in here. Brian, you're killing me. <laughs> you're really killing me. Um, there are a lot. Okay, here's one. This is um, 1990 score from KB Toys. That was a toy store, the, a smaller toy store that you would have found in the mall. Um, and here we have 90 Don Russ. And we, we've already seen one of these stickers. Uh, anybody recognize that from a chain of stores that they used to shop at? Does anybody know where that sticker came from with the red dots all over it? This is so many packs. There's another Kmart sticker on a 90 score. Wow. A lot of rack packs. I've never seen so many rack packs. Okay, now here's Rich's. And that's different from Rick's, right? Or is that the same? Yeah, so we have Rick's and we have Rich's. Two different stores, I think. Or am I... Do those both say Rich's? I guess they both say Rich's. Okay. Sorry. When it gets... It's one in the morning. Sometimes late at night. My eyes get a little bit weird. Oh, I almost thought this one was going to be from my favorite old drugstore. I thought it said Long's on there. But it says... What does it say? Ames. Ames. I've heard that mentioned. I think I think John Jabs has mentioned Ames as a store that they used to go to. Let's see what else we got here. There's another Kmart right there on an 89 score. Wow. I, this is unbelievable, Brian. This is just unbelievable. Okay, we have another Riches, uh, 91 Donruss. This is insane. Lots and lots of rack packs. Let me actually, I'm gonna pull a bunch of these out, stack them up. So the uh, the Woolworth story, on my, or for my 12th birthday, I received my very first radio that was my own. It was a tape deck. It had one speaker, kind of like a mini boombox kind of thing. And um, one of the other things that I received was, uh, I think it was $10. $10. I think I got $10 off my grandma. And what I did with my $10 was I went down to Woolworth and they had a rack, you know, a spinner on the counter this is actually funny because this would have been 1982. So some of you guys might have run down to Woolworth or Kmart with your $10 and bought baseball cards. But what I bought was um, three cassette tapes. Uh, I don't remember what two of them were, but I remember that the third one was the coasters. And... Um, you might be surprised to know that I am 50 years old and I still have that cassette tape and I still have that radio. 
and that radio still works. It had to be repaired once because it ate a tape and it had to be taken apart to get the tape out. And then it also had to, the, uh, the switch that made it go from, uh, I think it was the switch on the back that made it go from batteries to the electrical plug, um, broke. And so I had to cut a hole in the back so that I could access the switch that was directly on the um, circuit board. Okay. So I've just stacked out all the rack packs. This is an incredible, incredible box. Okay, so there's another one, 89 FLIR from Ames. Looks like they got a double sticker on there, so I'm gonna try to see later if I can figure out what the old price was and if they reduced it or something. Here's um, 89 FLIR from YDC. Not sure, I don't know what the YDC is. I'm going to have to look that up. 89 Fleer from Woolworth. If I see one from Long's Drugs, I'm going to be so stoked. Because that was always my favorite drugstore. They had a logo that looked similar to the Ames here. 89 Donruss from Ames. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. And here we have 92 tops from Ames. Maybe you guys think I'm crazy, but I just love these old store tags. It tells you all the different kinds of places where you could get cards. It tells you the prices. Some of them might even have dates on them. Uh, so this one is from YDC again. Uh, what year is this? Well, these are, okay, 1980. 1984 All-Star, so these would be probably 1985 cards, right? Yeah, we've seen a lot of these in today's releases for the 35th anniversary, right? That was from YDC. This one is from... Let me zoom in on that. Sorry, my hands are beat up. Don't have the gloves on. Zayre, Z-A-Y-R-E. That's a pretty cool looking logo there and that is the um these are 80 89 right 89 tops okay Ooh, starting to look snazzy here look at the difference in the packaging plain clear bags and then this one's all printed up and down that one's from ames 179 can you imagine getting a a pack of 33 cards right now for $1.39. Here's another one, same 1994 tops. The packaging is a little bit different, different color. They may have uh, just put them in different colors or, oh, different players on the top. Okay, there we go. Can you guys, uh, oops, can you guys tell who those players are? And this one's from Rick's. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, um, oh, that one's torn a little bit. So I saw one price tag that's on the bottom of the box that fell off of one of the packs. Uh, this one just says sale price. If, well, technically that says $10. But I'm going to wonder if that was a clearance price of 10 cents, actually. And it looks like uh, they have the taxable logo on the side there. That was, um, what year was that? Was that 87? You guys remind me. I, I think these are 87. Okay, uh, let's see, what is this one? 91 Fleer, and this one comes from Eckerd, so that's the drugstore, which I'm, I'm not sure if they're even around anymore, and it was half off, 50% off of $1.49, so 75 cents 
or rack, rack pack of 91 clear. We have 91 tops with the, uh, the dotted, the red dotted sticker. Is that a name on there, a store name? I'll have to take a closer look with the magnifying glass later on. Wow, just a few more of these to go, and then we have some single packs. Okay, there's one from Zaire again. Um, these are 89 tops, right? I think those are 89 tops. 43 cards for $1.29. Okay, Don Russ, 91, from Kmart. Very cool, really crisp looking sticker right there. There's another one from KB, $1.69, 42 cards, 89 tops. Mark McGuire right there. Nice, very, very cool. Okay, we have 89 Fleer, and this one, the sticker on the back, this one might be the one that the sticker fell off of. Um, so I don't see a sticker on there, so let's go get the sticker that was in the bottom of the package, and I think this might be it. Woolworth, look at the sticker, not my fingers. Woolworth. $1.69, that might have come from this package. This is insane. I don't know if there are any Woolworth stores left at all. And then there's this whole big stack of individual packs. All right, Top Stadium Club, 92. CWCP, so that's probably a category of how to ring it up. Um... 94 Stadium Club from Hills Drugs or Hills was that a department store, a drug store, or a grocery store? Anybody know? We didn't have Hills around here. We have uh, 88 yearbook stickers with just a generic store price tag. Been using those price tags for a long time. You can still buy a price gun right now that uses exactly those tags. There's one from Kmart, Fleer 93. My brother might have been working at Kmart right around then. Or maybe he worked there before. Not sure exactly when he did. 89 score. That was on sale for 33 cents. I don't see a store name on there. There's another small one. 50 cents each. Don't see a store name on that one. There's another one from Hills, $1.86. So that looks like it was printed by a computer rather than a, uh, a handheld stamper. 94 Stadium Club. Drug Mart. What's that price? $1.94 Fleer. There's another one from Hills, $1.97. Stadium Club. What year is that? Don't see the year on there. You guys want to tell me what year that is? $1.97 Stadium Club, item number 4795. You know, I might even be able to uh, Google Hills item 4795 and find something about that. That'll be interesting. There's one from Kmart. Stadium Club, 93. Oh, okay, there it is right there on the side. 93 Series 1, 93 Series 2. I didn't know Stadium Club came in two different series. Here's another one from Ames. 89 tops. There's a Series 1 from... Super Setter. Acme Super Setter. Uh, that might be the thumbnail right there. I think that's a good thumbnail. Acme Super Setter. You think that had anything to do with the Roadrunner and the uh, the Coyote? <laughs> uh, 
There's a 92 Stadium Club from KB Toys from 249 to 199. Some poor minimum wage employee had to sit at KB Toys and cross all those out and write them by hand because they ran out of clearance stickers. Can you imagine? Uh, here we have 92 tops with the, um, that might be a store name, but I think that might also be just the category as opposed, you know, grocery or hardware or whatever. Uh, here we have Drug Mart, again, 94 Fleer, and Kmart, Fleer Ultra. And that's all the packs. And then, uh, let's see what we have here. From the desk of Brian Zebart, Mr. Brian Zebart, Minute Rips Packs. So, let's see. I'm going to have to um, get in touch with Brian and make sure that these meet the criteria for the Minute Rips. Um, I guess I'll probably just include them even if they are not hobby packs, but generally Minute Rips are all hobby packs. But since it was a gift that was uh, sent specifically for Minute Rips, we're going to go ahead and include these in the Minute Rips. Although I don't know how I'm going to get through this in a minute <laughs> when we get to it. 16 cards? We'll have to rush on that pack. Um, wow, this is incredible. And um, I actually have rolls of price stickers that I use for various things. And I will be adding a sticker on the back of each of these that says that these came from Brian Zebart. So when we find these in our Minute Rips rolls, you'll know where they came from. Wow, how incredible. So we have a 2019 Allen and Ginter. We have 2019 Bowman. 2019 Gypsy Queen. These could have Ramon Laureano rookie cards in them. We have a 2019 update. Um, 1999 Bowman. All right. We have 2002 Topps Chrome. Four cards. All right. 2019 update Topps Chrome. Wow. That's a really hot pack, isn't it? We have 2016 Topps Baseball Bunt. Okay. 2019 Don Russ Optic. This is incredible. This, this is a, a nice stack. I'm going to have to figure out how, how long I take to work these in. I, I don't want to just throw them all in at once. I want to splice them in a little bit at a time. We have 2017 Stadium Club. Never opened any of that yet. I didn't start collecting till 2018, so. Um, 2017 Gypsy Queen, have never opened that. 2020 Donruss, and 2020 Optic. So you guys will be seeing all of these packs making their way into Minute Rips, which means you'll have a chance to get some of these cards. That's incredible. Thank you so much, Brian. Oh, did I, I missed a, a few more of these rack packs. Whoops. Had them off to the side here. Uh, so we looked at this label before, a different one. Is that Rosso? I'll have to look at that with the um, magnifying glass later. Let me see if I can make this exactly 30 minutes. There's another 90 Fleer from Riches. Oops, still zoomed in there. From Riches. Uh, there's a 90 Fleer from Kmart. And there's a 90 Fleer from Kmart where some unfortunate minimum wage guy had to deal with a price gun that was jamming up and getting all crooked. <laughs> uh, wow, that is incredible. Thank you so much, Mr. Brian Zebart. This is incredible. And uh, all of you leave a comment thanking Brian Zebart for adding all of these packs to our Minute Rip selection. Thank you very much, and see you next time.